Okay, George, so today we've come out to the wash in Norfolk, beautiful setting, um, and we're just gonna talk briefly about LTAC as the service, okay? What components make up the LTAC service, um, go through the setup of the equipment, and then what we'll do as a final kind of wrap up, I guess, is we'll build a scenario and we'll see it working. Happy with that? Sounds great. Cool. So we've got these two kits, um, these pelly cases here. If you open up this one, and I'll open up the other. Okay, what we can see is we've got uh, a relatively small amount of hardware, and that's kind of one of the big benefits of LTAC as a service. The hardware is minimalistic, but the service benefits are enormous. The LTAC service itself is actually a lease. Okay, so this piece of kit here, this is the Slingshot Applique. Okay, it's made by a company called Spectra, okay, as is all the rest of the hardware that we can see here. And Slingshot, in conjunction with Inmarsat's i4 satellites, is essentially what's giving you this LSAC service. The leases themselves occupy 25 kilohertz worth of spectrum. So what's a typical lease duration? So lease durations can vary um, as little as one month, as long as 12 months. All right, but what I would say is that if an end user had a particular requirement, come and talk to us, okay? Flexibility is key. For the means of the testing that we're gonna to do today, we've got VHF radios. Are there any other types of radio that we could use? Absolutely. Um, so if we had a VHF military radio, all we would simply do is use a different uh, applique. Sure, okay. okay? Same goes for UHF military as well. Sure.